Hey there. Um, what I got today are some um, Rotring isograph pens I uh, bought from the classifieds. And um, well, they're not working very good. So I had them in the ultrasonic and cleaned them already but some of them are they have this little wire in them this, they have this little wire in them uh, which um, controls the ink flow and um, I'm in some of these especially the 25 0.25 millimeter um, the wire seems to be too short and um, also they say it's uh, they should not be disassembled uh, when buying them used it's uh, sometimes the only option you have because they come broken and I wanted to show you how to get the small wire in and out without ruining them so there's a small indent on the back that uh, fits something like the back of a knife or I use uh, the back of tweezers to open it. Um, if it is blocked, um, this one was just uh, um, um, closed so that I can open it with my hand with my fingers only and then there's this little weight that comes out and on this weight is a small check the angle really itsy bitsy teeny wire hang on some angle got it reflecting here this is in dot 25 millimeters this is almost thinner than a human hair and if this is bent in some way um, because somebody used force to shake it when it was blocked then it does some z-like shape and what you can do is like you would uh, imagine you would have a cat and uh, you would uh, pet the cat, but not on its head or on its fur, but on its um, hairs in the face, the small hairs, you know. You can use one finger with, I use my thumb, with the um, nail. Just so easy, a little bit of pull, so you can see that the wire is bent now. In one direction it does a curve in the upward direction from your point of view and then you go to the other let's get this right you go into the other direction just with the same amount of force just with the same amount of force try to straighten it up with very very delicate no force at all so you can straighten the wire as good as new. So what you do now is putting it in. But this is also a process that's very delicate because the wire would bend uh, almost immediately. So what you can do is put the small weight a little bit in and it it slides in until it stops and now you can rotate and rotate and rotate tick goes over the first bump in the smaller um, pen nibs there are multiple stops so I put it a little bit more perpendicular so and now it popped in and I can screw the 
back on again. And now it is long enough to govern the ink flow again and everything is fine. So I can put on the front again. Oh, this is a little bit wet already. Uh, let's take another one so I can fit the front on it again. And uh, now it's as good as new. That's it for today. And to quote Louis Rossman, I hope you learned something and it was useful to you. Have a nice day.